Holy moly. Holy cow. Holy Toledo. Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society and today we're going to talk about how to avoid holes in amigurumi and the four mistakes that you might be making. So let's jump right into mistake number one. When we first learn how to crochet, we usually start with a blanket or a granny square and we look to our yarn for guidance. And by guidance, I mean hook size. But for amigurumi, our yarn unintentionally lies to us and that's okay, we'll forgive you. So mistake number one is using the wrong hook size for amigurumi. Here, if you look at the back of this worsted weight yarn, it says to use a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. That would mean we would be using an eye crochet hook. Now for amigurumi, we normally use a way smaller hook, usually something like an e-hook, this is a three and a half millimeter, and sometimes even a C or a D hook. If you were to make this amigurumi piece with the suggested hook size, we would get major holes in our work. It was very relaxing <laughs> to crochet with an eye hook, but it wouldn't give us the result that we were looking for. So here is a comparison of an eye hook and an e hook. Not only here do you notice the holes in our amigurumi piece, but you also notice the size. It can really increase the size of your work. So in making amigurumi, don't listen to your yarn, listen to your pattern, and if in doubt, grab an e three and a half millimeter crochet hook. Mistake number two, using a regular decrease. When we learn the basic crochet stitches, we learn how to decrease. But in amigurumi, we use something called an invisible decrease. And I know what you're thinking, why are you changing the rules in amigurumi? But it's one of those stitches really worth learning. If you need a tutorial on an invisible decrease, I will put it up here and I'll also put it in my description box below. Here I wanna show you a regular decrease. You can visibly see the holes and it doesn't bring up the sides as well as we'd like, not giving it the structure that we need for amigurumi. Now here you can see with the example on the right, this is where we use the invisible decrease. You do not see any holes. It has a better structure and it even makes it look smaller. I definitely think it's worth learning the invisible decrease and in the long run, you'll be much happier without all those holes. On to mistake number three, not watching your attention. Okay, this piece is after my cup of morning coffee, and this piece is during my evening chill time watching TV. As you can see here, my stitches look super tidy and tight. I'm very focused and I'm crocheting a bit tighter because I'm paying more attention. With this piece here, you can see that my stitches look looser and wider. I'm more relaxed and I'm probably not paying that much attention to what I'm doing. You might be thinking, well, I don't see any holes, but there's definitely potential to make holes if you don't watch your tension. Tension can change with your mood, with the time of day, and even with how long you've been crocheting. The longer you crochet, maybe the more hand pain you're getting and the looser your stitches become. Paying attention to your tension can help you avoid potential holes. This is a mistake I've made over and over again, and it's overstuffing your amigurumi piece while you're still crocheting. Here we have nice tidy stitches, and when you keep going down, you start to see the stitches open and you see the dreaded holes. I've been there, done that, I still do it on occasion. Um, it's very easy to do as we're crocheting. I will show you though how to avoid doing this. Grab your piece, in this case it's my head, and I'm going to grab some stuffing because I've reached a point where I need to start stuffing because I'm going to start closing my piece soon. I'm going to add a little bit of stuffing and I personally like to make a hole in the middle of my stuffing. So now I'm able to still move my piece. There isn't so much stuffing that it's so taut that I can't even crochet. Here as I begin to crochet, I'm able to hold on to my piece and I'm able to crochet with the same ease as I've been the whole time. I suggest adding a little bit more stuffing after every round, just adding a bit to that middle hole that you made and then continuing on to the next round and doing that until you get to the end of your piece. Doing it this way will assure that your piece gets the stuffing it needs without making those pesky holes. I hope this video helps you make holeless amigurumi pieces. Uh, that is my goal for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for weekly videos and check out yarnsociety.com for free patterns. Holy guacamole. 
Holy mackerel.